Hey guys, Brian here. It's been a while. Long time since I've done a video. I think it was November when the last uh, actual fish room tour went down and I think I put in a couple other videos earlier in this part of the year, but um, figured it was time to show you what I've been up to. Um, I've gotten rid of probably half my tanks. Still in the hobby though, for sure and uh, still keeping the big stuff. But uh, I'll take you through everything and show you what I've got and what's gone and we'll kind of go from there. But before I do that, I gotta get in a plug for my company, Aquatic Support Systems. Uh, make sure you go to aquaticsupportsystems.com to uh, pick up Southern Delight fish food. The best fish food out there in my opinion. Uh, stuff is awesome. All these big cichlids have been born and raised on it. It's got the awesome shaker bottles. Um, no mess in the tank compared to some of the other big brands out there. Give it a shot. You won't be disappointed. We also sell, uh, you know, Shrimp King products for your shrimp, um, Glass Garden and Salty Shrimp products. So make sure you go check that out and, uh, you know, appreciate it. Um, and thanks to everybody that watches these videos. Sorry that I've been away for so long, but YouTube just isn't a big part of my life as it once was. I don't know if it ever really was, but um, I'm just... You know, I've got a lot going on in my life. Uh, but anyway, I, I'll try to keep up as much as I can in posting things. Uh, it's probably not going to be as regularly as I once did, as you can see from the absence that I that I had um, in the past several months here. But um, I guess that's enough of me babbling. Um, big changes, though, um, and some more to still come. So with that, let's uh, let's check it out. All right, so we're just going to start at the bottom of the stairs. Um, I don't know if I had these cool signs when I did my last video. Local buddy of mine, Danny Chen, there's one up there in the corner. Put these together. Um, he does uh, 3D printing and acrylic and stuff like that. The 3D moss ledges that I sell, um, he makes. Um, just did one for the YouTube channel logo and then up there that's for aquatic support systems. But anyway, um, let's let's start here. Um, these two tanks are empty. Well, there's, a, there's plecos in them. But these are going to come down and be sold here real soon. Sold up off a bunch of tanks already, but um, the uh, Hadiensis that were in here, they've, they're still in the fish room, they've just been moved. And the flower horn has been um, rehomed and uh, I sold him. And uh, just downsizing and uh, you know, I like the fish and everything, but it was just time to downsize. and. He wasn't at the top of my list for ones that I wanted to keep. So you can see this massive Pleco still in here. He's gonna get moved to another tank. We will turn around. Look at all the Southern Delight fish food and Shrimp King and Glass Garden products. All right, so over here, if you remember, I had a 75 and a 75, and then in the middle I had four shrimp tanks. Now I've got three 40 breeders. They're all shrimp tanks. The uh, fish, the flower horn up here, and the moda that was down there, they've been rehomed for several months now. And I've got my crystal reds with a boatload of hooker ace moss up here. I should have put some fish food or some shrimp food in these tanks and uh, could have seen some massive shrimp colonies. Um, but anyway, the crystal reds were up there. These are the um, fancy, fancy red tigers. And then down here, are the um, super crystal reds. You can see a couple out. Yeah, I wasn't thinking before I started filming this video, I should have put some fish food or some shrimp food in. They love the old Shrimp King Complete. Um, and then I did the same thing over there. Three 40 breeders, got rid of the 75 on top. That was where the uh, lone male Trimac was. He's gone. Um, I had three 20, 20 gallon grow outs for fry. Not interested in raising fry, so I got rid of those. And then there was a 75 down there that the convicts were in most recently, I think. So this is a blue bowl colony, bunch of them in there. Again, wasn't thinking, should have put out some food. This is the galaxy fishbone colony. Um, recently noticed some babies in there, so that's promising. They're low grade, so they're not anything real special. And this is just a big mix. Everything that was left, Thai bees, Thai Thai bees. No, yeah, 
Thai, no, Thai bees, Taiwan bees, um, some, some, uh, pink bolts or red bolts, some, I don't know, everything that I had in a, you know, the tanks I had, um, check out this big ass crib right here. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on down to six shrimp tanks. Actually, I got one up in the office that's coming down real soon, but, uh, that's what we got going on there. Still have Cheeto. Cheeto recently got injured. His tail is split. I don't know if it's the female that did it or what. They like to fight a little bit. The convict pair that I had down in that 75 gallon are in this tank. They breed continuously and the fry never make it. But as recently as yesterday, there were some, fry, there's a couple fry left, but they've probably been eaten by now. I don't know if they eat their own or if the Midas end up. Every so often one makes it. There are two in here that are old enough now where they're gonna continue. You know, they're about an inch. Two or three that um, have grown. But yeah, that's what's going on there. Um, the Hadiensis ended up down here in this 180 gallon. I've got them all still. Um, one male and female have paired off and they've got fry right now. I should have cleaned the glass on these tanks too before I shot the video, but I didn't. I just, out of the blue, was up working on my business and thought, let's do a video. So I did one. There's about nine, nine in here, female heavy. There's a couple smaller males, but this is the biggest male and this is gonna be the keeper male. I'm just letting these grow out a little bit longer, see if I can get maybe one more pair. And I don't know, see if we can have two pairs in here, but. These guys are doing real good. The Trimac pair that was in here, they have been rehomed. All of these have been rehomed locally. I don't ship anymore. I don't even know if you can ship. I know when the pandemic started, you couldn't ship fish anymore through Delta. And that's the only place that I ever shipped. I never had an account with Southwest. You needed to have an actual account with them versus Delta, anybody could ship. So um, just not interested in selling fish and shipping anymore. It takes a big chunk out of your day when you have to do it and the amount of money you get isn't worth it. Um, it is worth it though to be able to send fish to people around the country and receive fish from people, but just not something I've had the time for over the past year or so. Don't know if I'll ever do it again or not. Uh, this is Cheeto's brother. This guy's never gotten a name, but he's, he's really turned into an active and personality filled fish. Um, he's really, he likes to bite the glass now. He's got a female in here. She's sitting on some wigglers right now. Um, in all transparency, this is his daughter. Um, I'm not ever gonna let fry go that they produce, but I just wanted to have a female in here because I like the way a male and a female act together versus having just a male in a tank. And as you can see, the, there's still three red hook silver dollars, but you can also see that I've added a bunch of little convicts. And this little pair right here, believe it or not, at that size, they have bred and there's fry down between those rocks. I'm just not gonna be able to get him. Maybe if I can distract him a little bit, we can see something, but there's fry all over the, or not fry, but there's, I don't know, seven or six convicts in here. And those two have paired off. Then there's some platinum hunter and red points. I started with four. I just picked them up from a fish store. Somebody had turned them in, they were full grown. Two of them have died from aggression, I believe. I've never seen any aggression or any damage to either of their bodies, uh, but found them both dead, um, not at different times. And it looked like they had been chomped on pretty good by another fish, so that's what's going on there. Still got the reddest latest pair, zero breeding in the past couple years now. The last spawn I had, uh, my buddy James Randall got some fry and he's since raised them up to, he's got a really nice looking pair. And I think that they've even spawned and he's got fry now. I also got some convicts in here. These were some trade-ins at a local fish store. I just nabbed them up for real cheap. I'm really digging having convicts and smaller fish in tanks with a bigger pair. They do just fine for the most part, except up there. But I think, I don't even know if that was the Midas that killed those up there. Um, but these, this pair right here has spawned at some point. I don't think they're sitting on, or maybe it's this pair over here. 
I don't, I don't think there's, they were sitting on fry last week, but I don't, I don't think there's any left now. But there's, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six, three males and three females at least in here. Some of these female convicts, I really, you know, they're, they're kind of a plain fish, just gray and black barred, but the females get this nice orangish reddish color in the belly that just looks, like this one's in breeding dress right now. She's looking sweet. Look at that fish. I mean, for a small little fish, you can't beat that. Um, fun little additions to have in a tank. Look at this one right here. Where'd it go? I got my camera on weird on, on the tri or on the the uh, gimbal or whatever I'm holding. So I think I'm aiming at a fish and I'm not. It's gonna probably when I upload this be upside down actually, and I'm gonna have to screw screw with it in iMovie. Anyway. Moving on, we still got the umbies. This is Optimus, the male F1, Rio Magdalena umbi, Chrono Harris umbiferum, and the female Matrix. These are both F1s. Optimus was a, uh, his parents were Magnus and Beast, who you remember. Here's a picture of Magnus down here. Still got the banner. Um, they're doing real good. They spawn every so often, but I don't pull anything. There's actually two small little umbies in this tank. One's always hides in this driftwood pile and the other hides in these rocks. Oh, there he is. You see, where did he, uh, he, I spooked him. There, you can barely see him, but there he is. Um, yeah, look at this beast. Doing good. Uh, shout out to uh, Rick Stratman. Um, he had that really nice umbi from Magnus and Beast named Flex. Passed away recently. Sorry to hear that. I don't know if you watch my videos anymore, but but um, you know we talk once every so often uh, when he buys some uh, Southern Delight from me. But uh, yeah, these guys are doing real good. Feeding them on Southern Delight as well. Uh, down here. These are what's left of the Red Devils that were probably the last video, an inch maybe. I, I weaned it down to four, and I'm, I never got any that were really nice and orange. These are like a light orange with black. I like them, but I want some really bright orange ones. And uh, a couple guys locally, uh, Mike, I always forget Mike's last name because he's got a, like some sort of a fish name on his Facebook profile that he changed to like a year or two ago. Um, but, uh, and my buddy James, they both have from this same spawn, some nice and, um, nice orange ones. And I told Mike, I'd come down and buy some. I just haven't been able to. So Mike, if you're watching this, I still plan on picking some up. If you got some probably out in your pond by now, but look at these big lips on these things, man. These are, they're nice. Um, I just, when I, when I got these, my goal was to have some nice, bright orange red devils. It's going to be hard to part with these. I might keep one or two of them, but I really, I just got to get some nice, nice red ones. Um, this is the last you saw this tank. This, this is the 210 stack right here. The last you saw this tank, it was a Midas grow out tank and the Midas were probably the size of these. There's like 15 of them. Uh, sold them all locally, except for the one female that's over there with Cheeto's brother. And I decided, this is a few months in the making now, um, decided to get back to some real basic fish that I haven't kept in 20 years maybe, maybe less than that, maybe 15, and, I, and some tiger oscars. But um, looking to grow out, um, they're, they're, I started with seven, one got killed recently from aggression and the other one never had um good finish to start with the dorsal or um yeah the dorsal fins on this guy are all messed up but ordered these in from live aquaria i had never ordered from live aquaria before and i was satisfied with every step of the process including the quality of the fish so that was fun um still got some of the old loaches in here and then that really nice red jewel pair is in here I picked up some jewel fry from a local fish store. They've already grown, doubled in size since I got them a couple months ago. And then I forget the name of these guys, but they're a smaller dwarf cichlid. 
And then there are 200 red points left. I had four or six and a couple of them did die. But yeah, that's what's going on here. I'm looking to, looking forward. I know they're nothing, they're super common and they're not exotic by any means, uh, but Oscars have such a cool personality and I'm just looking forward to growing them out and seeing what I can do with them. Um, so yeah. That's what's going on there. We'll take you upstairs and show you what's going on. So here we are in the office and no tanks. Wow, well, take that back. There's this one shrimp tank. Took down the 90 gallon goldfish tank. You can see the prints on the ground and the uh, African sickle tank. They're gone. Uh, sold them, sold all the fish. This is going to be a two by two cube reef tank more than likely here. Probably an uh, anemone tank, no corals. And this is going to be probably a five foot reef tank. Going to do both red seas more than likely. And that way they match with the tank out here which you guys are familiar with, but got the, uh, got the uh, Max E260 Red Sea. I'm gonna go ahead and put the filter on so that we can see these corals a little better. So excuse me. All right. <clears throat> Try to do this one-handed here. All right. Oh. All right, so we'll start. We got two reef tanks, gonna be four. And once I get those, it'll be a few months because uh, they're mega back ordered due to the pandemic still. But this tank's doing pretty good overall. I'm having some recent problems with some euphelia that are not, they're closing up. These, uh, this is a, uh, oh, I forget the name of it, um, octic, octospawn, and then a uh, frog spawn back there, frog spawn here. This one is doing about like it's been doing for a few months, but this one is uh, been closing up quite a bit lately. Um, but these corals, the leather and the, um, I'm blanking out on the name of that one too, are doing good. The NEMS will move into that tank I just told you about. Mushrooms are doing good. Got some Zoas over here and then some pesky uh, GSP. Um, this torch is doing decent. And then some of these uh, candy cane or trumpet corals are doing real good. Got several fish in here as you can see. Look at this. Uh, crazy mushroom here. It's just a purple colored one. So there's not a lot of cool coloration, but these uh, bubbles on it are really neat. And I got some GSP growing in the back of the tank there. And then over here is the 125 gallon. Um, this uh, toadstool, massive toadstool leather is doing real good. I'm trying to revive these candy canes. This one's doing good, but this green one has just been really semi closed up for many many months trying to do more feedings sorry about the algae on the glass too this one's doing okay uh the hammer corals are doing really well um so are the frog spawns this torch will get moved into a different tank because i don't want to have the torches around the euphelia this frog spawn is doing okay and then this nice what do you call them wall frog spawns doing really good got some cool mushrooms down here Few other things the fish are doing really good um, we'll back off so you can see the fish but I've got purple tang yellow tang um, scopius tang regal tang um, some clowns six line wrasse stuff like that so doing real good guys thanks again for watching um, make sure to um, Click that like button. Uh, it really helps me out, even though I don't upload a lot of videos anymore. 
Um, subscribe if you're new, if you like what you see here. I try to do regular videos, but I uh, haven't been real good about it lately. Um, if you're interested in fish food, go check out AquaticSupportSystems.com. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, if you're subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you do find out when I upload videos. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon, hopefully.